talk. Tell me your story. It is crazy. You know, um, I, I was a, a heroin addict for 10 plus years, uh, lived on the streets, uh, di- you know, put horrible things into my body, didn't care, and then spent a long time, long, long time working really, really hard, I guess, uh, to get where I am now. And to be worthy of a, of a good life, I've worked hard um, and I want to look after my body. Uh, to now be told that it, it's just insane. Um, I had a, a tele chat uh, because that doctor refused to see me in Victoria, which is crazy. Um, insane. That made me angry. Uh, I was watching it and I felt like crying. Like your video yeah. made me angry. Like I was mad. Yeah. So I show a lot of that stuff. It's so funny. Like you're always going to get the odd trolls and stuff. And they all say, oh, all you do is cry. And, you know, like if people watch my videos, certainly I don't always cry. But the reason I show that well, is we're because, women. well, we are women, right? We, and we feel and we're emotional and we're passionate, right? And that's a really good thing. And I think it's really important to, to care, to give a shit enough to, to cry. Um, mm-hmm. But look, I have never in my life, like I said, I've been homeless. I've been the trash on the street that you pass, like quite literally. Aww. And I have never felt so humiliated um, and cast out as I did being turned away from a doctor. And, you know, I wasn't there with the runny nose or, you know, th- this was a, a, an appointment booked in two weeks prior for something totally unrelated. And I even called them the morning um, of that appointment just to say, you know what, I've got a mask medical exemption, just letting you know, sure, no worries, uh, just to turn me away. And I just go, when your doctors can't use logic and reason because fear has taken mm-hmm. over, like that's pretty scary. It is scary. And it's funny too because um, I recently play. yeah, people are kind of shocked. Oh, my friend is like, WTF. Um, it's pretty bad. It, I mean, it's people can't believe it. But do you know what? This sorry is, to cut you off, dear. But no, you know, it's my home state. I'm sad about it. It's it's so sad, and that's why I'm actually so happy. You're if if I'm allowed to say that you're. Gonna, I'm considering coming back. You're yeah. possibly coming back. Possibly. You know, because we need people. So many people have fled, and people say to me, "Why don't you leave?" And I'm like, "Well, if I'm not here and everyone leaves, then who's going to be here to mm. step up and say no?" Like, so we, we really do need more people willing to stand up. And this isn't about whether you're jabbed or not, whether you're religious or not, it doesn't matter. This is literally about freedoms and, and all of us being equal and coming together. So the more, the merrier. But look, I could not believe it. And I've never in my life felt that um, scared, actually. Okay. It was terrifying. So can I ask, you say that you were the trash on the street. So you yeah. literally were one of those people that I would have walked past and yeah. put money in your cup. Yeah. 